Hey guys, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician, and I just wanted to talk about the new version of Reason that Propellerhead seems to be teasing at the Superbooth conference. Um, this screenshot, I believe Reasonistas leaked, um, and it shows what is a new Propellerhead player. Um, this seems to be a drum sequencing player, um, which implies that Reason 9.1 probably is coming pretty soon. Um, I don't think this is the sort of thing that would be a standalone rack extension that Reason, uh, that propeller heads would be selling. I think that um, often the point .1s, the point .2s, the point .5 versions of Reason um, include a new feature, and I could see a player or two really being part of that, um, in addition to some other fixes. Um, so, A, I think we're about due for um, a point .1 version. I think probably reason 10 came out what in September maybe or October so it would be about six months ago seven months ago um hopefully they add some more cleanup stuff under the hood I did a video recently about what I'd like to see in the next version of reason and what I think needs to get fixed um and you guys had a lot of thoughts on that as well there's a link above and down below in the show notes um but I think this screenshot here a indicates that there's a new version of reason and B, I think this is a really cool, cool new feature, the drum sequencer. So let's talk about what we can see right here. All right, so this looks to be a player that would attach to Kong, maybe some other drum machines as well. A, this would be super great if there would be uh, a step sequencer, not just for, you know, drums, but to be able to see all of the steps vertically like this, um, as opposed to when you're doing the matrix where you can only see really one pattern at a time. I mean, you can see a few, but um, it quickly you run out of screen real estate for more than a few patterns. And in Read Room, you can really only see one instrument pattern at a time. To be able to see how all the layers line up is great. You can see here also, let's just go from the top to bottom. It looks like there's some patterns. It looks like you can actually rec it, record it live or run it. Looks like there's eight pattern variations, and you can send it to track or bypass it. Um, then there's going to be, it can learn the pads, um, or you can program them in probably. So you hear, you can see they're triggered to various keys. You can mute or solo. Um, I don't know if exactly what the X would clear out, but it clears out something. Um, and I don't know exactly how you control the grid. I assume probably something over here would say whether you're at 32ths or at 16ths or 8ths or whatever. Um, and then you have these notes here, and you can see you can draw in the patterns or probably play them in, and they're color dependent, which I assume is going to mean velocity. You see this velocity section here. Um, you'll have the ability to trigger repeats, which is great. And then there's also going to be, um, or the option to trigger repeats, and there's probably going to be a pr probability. And I don't know if that has to do with whether or not an instrument's triggered or whether or not the velocity will change. Either way, it's pretty cool because that allows you to quickly sort of have more organic patterns instead of having to program, it, program in every variation. You know, there'll be a probability if it'll be hard, medium, or soft, and you can probably set that range. Um, that's great for things like hi-hats and... Uh, kicks, potentially snares, um, it'll get you making beats just way faster. So um, in conclusion, this drum sequencer looks like a really great new addition to Reason, and I'm looking forward to seeing what other, other changes might be coming down the pike, um, hopefully in a Reason 10.1 coming out.